Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got yeah, 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 yeah we got an update on on this Diddy situation, man. We got and we got a couple of artists that are um, uh, discussing Diddy a little bit. All right, we got uh, Tyrese on deck. We got um uh, some information on Young Miami, man. Um uh, yeah yeah yeah, City Girls are down, man, big time. Okay, uh, Uncle Luke, man, uh, and why he didn't want to party with Diddy, man. We also got um uh, uh his, the, the electronic seeds in the raid, man. They got we got we got the clip on that, man. And, um, the mule, Diddy's mule, and um, uh, uh, the selling of revolt. Again, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Hey, yo, if this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for your task. So go on and give it a tap. And that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that to your Check this out, man. This situation with Diddy has gone on even further, man. And, and, and you know it's going to be elaborate, right? I mean, I done read yesterday, man. They said they done. I mean, it was today, as a matter of fact. They said they done found tunnels under the man underwater tunnels under the man's mansion i said damn underwater tunnels but i mean technically if you were um uh, he was like an 800 millionaire 800 million dollar year you know what i'm saying 800 millionaire so technically right i mean it's not surprising if you have un like underground tunnels and stuff like that because you know what i mean like some of my some of my closest friends are trying to have underground sellers and whatnot yeah like like you know what i mean like the 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 underground bomb shelter type situation so that's not really unusual for a millionaire to have that but underwater underwater tunnels gosh i couldn't imagine what was going on down there. anyway look, 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 man. we got first of all we got tyrese uh speaking on diddy the diddy situation all right um uh Look, this is what Tyrese had to say on this, okay? Tyrese is first on deck. Let me see what my time is looking like. You like, yo, you just got started. Yeah, 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 I know. Um, I, I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet, but you know how it is, okay? Tyrese said, what I can't do and what I won't do is downplay the laughter, the fun, the energy, the inspiration, the award shows, the studio sessions, the most legendary parties and events I ever attended in my life. And I also can't act as if my high school backyard parties throughout South Central LA wasn't the craziest parties ever because of the bad boy on slew, on slew of hit record. I don't condone, nor do I support Wait, 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 wait. See, I can't stand when people don't use like punctuation, man. We got punctuation for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Let me, let me, let me, let me go back. And I also, okay, so he's essentially saying he's not gonna um downplay all the fun that he had with some of the, the studio sessions and the parties and the, and the energy and the inspiration. So he said, you know what? I really enjoyed the times that I had, okay? He said, I also can't act as if my high school backyard parties throughout South Central LA wasn't the craziest parties ever, right? So he's essentially saying he had some fun times even when he was in high school. He, he did, They did some wild stuff. This is one of those moments where it's probably better to just not say anything and just to sit and watch. Like not everything has to be commented on, especially when folks are looking for targets, people are looking for um, anybody to, 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 to throw the noose around. You see what I'm saying? I'm not saying like if you were guilty, you should lay low. I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying sometimes it's just better to not say anything when you know people are looking for anyone to really throw the noose around. I, I mean, I don't know how else to put it. Anyway, my bad. He goes, I also can't act as if my high school backyard parties throughout South Central LA wasn't the craziest parties ever. Uh, he said he can't act like because of the bad boy on slew of hit record. I don't condone nor do I support abuse, bullying, sexual assault, or anything like that uh, that is currently being alleged. But what I can't do is turn the blinds on how much this means to me and all of us and what he has done for the community of music and culture. I know this guy is not. I hope he's not saying what I think he's saying. He, he says, don't worry. I'm the only one crazy enough to jump out there and say what most of y'all want to say, but don't have the balls to do. So because it's very formal for people to be going through a rough patch and we all sit back and make a mockery of it, but I'm not going to do that. I'm praying for Diddy, his kids, his family, his mother, and all the alleged victims that's in the middle of trying to simply have their voices be heard. I love uh, this brother. He's been nothing but kind and generous towards me, and that's the way I feel um, praying and praying for more of a better outcome of all this happening. Uh, God bless you, Diddy. If you ever need to call me and just need a listening, here I am. I'm right here, bro. Okay, okay, okay. Listen. Um, the, here's <laughs> here's what we won't do. Okay. Uh, 
a lot of us will not just blindly support anyone that has for 20 years been um, accused of violent and heinous acts, even to the point of someone trying to take them to court and quickly and, and watching them quickly settle in a uh, a 24 hour period. The, the, the Cassie, Cassie was going to take this man to court. She had a lawsuit against this man and he in 24 hours settled the lawsuit. This is a huge red flag. I would never blindly support anyone who did that because essentially this girl was saying she was kicked. She was kicked. She was stomped. They done raised the, the decibels of the music. So to drown out her screams while she was being abused. It, this was all in the court documents. And the man settled quickly. <laughs> and um, this is the guy that we would blindly support. Right? He's like, well, you know, I'm, you know, he was always nice to me, though. Listen, man. Here's the thing. This is how I know it goes down. Okay. There are houses where people are being abused, right? Like children, right? There are houses where there are multiple children in the house and there's one or two, like, let's say it's possible, right? For there to be a house with five children in it, okay? And two of the children or one child is being abused in that house. That does not mean that like, and, and the four other kids are like, well, I'm not being abused. That don't mean that the parent is cool. You follow what I'm saying, man? I'm not saying he did it or I'm not saying he didn't do it. I'm saying for over 20 years, mad people, artists and non-artists have all been coming out the woodwork saying what this man has done to them. OK, I'm talking mad people are talking about it. And what we've seen here in public is we just seen mad arrogance OK, of the man. And we've heard for 20 years about this man's antics. We see folks that have worked with him say, I had to escape from this guy. People crying on the on the on the internet. Okay, source done covered the story. You know what I'm saying? We had like over damn near probably 500,000 views on the video, right? Dude, like folks, for, wasn't it the dude from making the band? Dude was crying, right? Talking about how he was ready to slide on this dude because of how dude violates. You follow what I'm saying, man? So I would never blindly support this man. This is one of those moments where Tyrese might could have just like everybody's entitled to say what they want. Just like I'm entitled to say what I want. Tyrese is entitled to say what he want. But wisdom dictates you probably just should sit back and just be like, you know what? Let me just watch how this plays out before I blindly support this man. OK, um, I get what he's saying when he says, hey, look, man, if you just need someone to talk to, I'm here to listen to you. OK, fine. I, I just certainly hope bro was there when, when Tyrese was going through his rough patch. I hope, you know what I'm saying, Puff was there. Uh, and, and, and here's the other thing, man. And here's the other. Matter of fact, let me let me go to the next story because that that just that just irks me to even hear about. I mean, let me let me think this through for a second. Does Puffy is a human, right? Puffy is a human, okay? He is a human that is accused of all kinds of heinous acts. He's been accused of heinous acts. Now, anyone can be accused of heinous acts. So if he did not do it, then he definitely deserves someone to speak with, right? If he did not do it, if he is 100% innocent, with all of the accusations, if 100% of these accusations he's innocent of, fine. But if he is not innocent, if he did any of these accusations, if he did it to one person, then the dude is heinous. If he did any of these S.A., you know what I'm saying, these sexual whatchamacallits, to one person, it's heinous, bro. See, I was uh, watching an interview with um, uh, The Breakfast Club, okay? Holy moly, right? Nine minutes? I was watching the situation with the Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club, they like they was like, yo, man, if he didn't do like one thing, I don't agree with what Charlemagne said. Charlemagne said, I just don't like to see anybody's legacy torn down. My thought process is this. If you committed any of these actions, if if you did, if you are 100 percent innocent, we don't want to see your legacy destroyed. But if you committed any of the things that you've been accused of committing to even one person, then I want to see your legacy destroyed. You should have no legacy if if in the process of uh, building your legacy, you've destroyed.
people emotionally and socially. You follow what I'm saying, man? Uh, it, l listen, um, <laughs> when I was a kid, right? Two Live Crew was huge. It was huge. In fact, I think Two Live Crew is the, if I remember correctly, if my memory ain't playing Marco Polo on your boy, right? I believe Two Live Crew is the reason for the um, the parental advisory explicit lyrics thing. Okay. What I now there was no internet when I was young, not that I can remember, right? Uh, when Two Live Crew was doing a thing, okay, I used to hear stories about how on stage while they were performing, all kinds of wildness was happening on stage. Damn it, like stuff akin to like full blown orgies. Like folks was talking like there was orgies going on on stage. Now I know that it's possible for folks to exaggerate, but I was told. Right. We, you know, we, and, and I didn't read it in a source magazine. I'm just saying I was told for mad people like, yo, they was having orgies on them stages. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, damn, they was doing it like that, bro. Like at the time I was like, well, I, well, I, you know what I'm saying? I want to go to one of those concerts and see what's going on. I heard it was wild. Okay. Uncle Luke <laughs> has stated that um, he was uh, invited to uh, Diddy parties after hours. And he was like, I ain't going to one of them damn parties. I think it was on the We in Miami podcast. Take a listen to what uh, Luke had to say concerning why he didn't want to go to the after Artie Diddy, after hours Diddy party. Take a listen real quick. I wonder how many people have sampled music from me. Exactly. You ever had someone sample and didn't call and didn't follow up or nothing? Yeah, yeah. French Montana. Yeah, that pop that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, pop that. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, hold on. Pop that. It was like, yeah, we want you to come uh, and uh, be in this video. You know, I don't, I ain't on every scene, you feel me? And so they were like, yo, come on by and, and do the video. I'm like, nah, I'm good. You know, now nah, we got Wayne, we got Drake, we got all these people here and everything. And I was like, I don't give a f You know, right. I don't, I'm just, it's just not my vibe. Right. You know, uh, they are cool people, you know, but I don't just move like that because right. somebody is someplace. And uh, you know, we'll send a jet and all that. No, I don't need no f jets and all that. But, right. you know, long story short, after the video was shot, shot, then it was all these articles. I guess they had the press set up. Uh, Uncle Luke and French Montana and Drake and Wayne and all them. And then I'm like, I don't know nothing about this song. So people started hitting me. I was like, I don't know what the that is. Right. You know, and that was, you know, and then it became a little, as if it was a little beef. And I was like, yo, bro, I don't have beef with nobody. Did French Montana look out? Like, did they cut you a check? Did, did he cut you a check? No, I ain't want no check. I ain't want no check. Why not? If it was done the right way, yeah, you will negotiate, you know, right. through people, but I, I don't want checks like that. Right. Yeah, I just let people have shit. All money ain't good money. I was about to say. Right, Did you shit. party with Diddy a lot? Oh, uh, no, not really. I would go to the party and, and leave early. Why wouldn't you stay? Right? <laughs> <laughs> I go to the party and leave early. I'm sorry. Yeah. I don't know what goes on after part after hours, but he wasn't trying to find out. I wasn't trying to find out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know my place. You, you feel? Yeah, I know my place. Now, I want you to um, consider where my mind is with this. Okay. I'm here telling you, right, that when I was young, I was told that Luke was damn near having orgies on his concert stage. I don't know if that's true or not. I've never been there to confirm it. Maybe you could confirm it in the comments below, but I've never seen that. I don't know if you've heard the same thing. That's what I heard. I heard them parties was super, I mean, parties. I heard Luke's concert, two live crew concerts were X rated on the stage. I'm, I'm talking falato going on, like on the damn stage. I was like, how could you perform while somebody is, <laughs> um, how could you perform on stage while somebody's performing falato on you? Like that to me was crazy. So I was like, how could you do, I couldn't even focus. You know what I'm saying? I like maybe the, the lyrics would, maybe this, I don't know the music's playing in the back. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying is this, if, if, with that in my head about what the two live crew concerts were like, for Luke to say, man, I ain't staying at them damn after hour Diddy parties. Mm -mm, that's not for me. You got, that's got damn, right? That's all I can say is, wait, 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 wait. Luke, the Luke that I know from two live crew, is it a, a different Luke? Maybe it's a different Luke. If it's two live crew Luke that's saying, I'm not staying at them parties after hours because that means some strange stuff was going down at them damn after hour parties, man.
And we done heard it, man. We done heard we we done heard people opening them doors and seeing all kinds of shenanigans going on. And they was like, oh man, like well, that that ain't us. Like, you know what I'm saying? That ain't us. I heard, look, I heard, I heard Wu Legends, Wu Tang Clan Legends talk about they done opened up the door, was like, oh, this is not the party for me. We going home. You know what I'm saying? Will you make the Wu Tang Clan go home? <laughs> uh let me see what my dad looking like, man. This is gonna be an unorthodox video. Listen, man. Um when I tell you city girls are down, listen. Young Miami, they they done they done. Hey, Carisha, where you at? That's what they, that's what. They, Carisha, where you at? She was like, I'm right here. Now it's starting to the pressure starting to come a little bit harder. Okay, Young Miami has been accused of accused. She's not. You know what I'm saying? They didn't cuff her or nothing like that. She is being accused of transporting <laughs> cocaine to your boy Diddy. Pink cocaine. You like, it's pink now? I guess it's in pink now. I thought it was white. I guess it's pink. Pink cocaine to Diddy. And this is not just hearsay. This is in the court documents. You're like, oh boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me read it to you. Let me read it to you. What, is, what does it say? Uh, court documents read. It says, Plaintiff and Combs Rico Enterprise were rehearsing for a something in the Westerville in Virginia. The court filing reads, Plaintiff Jones personally, wit personally witnessed Mr. Combs do a few lines of coke in his dressing room. Defendant Sean Combs wanted Tuki, uh, Tusi, whatever, but Brendan forgot it. So defendant Christina Corum called Young Miami, who then brought it on a private jet from Miami. Uh... What does it say? What does it say? Let me keep reading. It goes, um, Young Miami Jade and Daphne Joy were paid a monthly fee to work as Combs's sex workers and received payment via wire transfer from Robin Greenhill, which outlined defendants' ongoing criminal operation. Mm -hmm. Uh this is where her this is where her name pops up. Oh, let me let me go back a little bit. It says WhatsApp messages to distribute interstate wires to disseminate the misleading information described herein, as well as to receive profits from the artists, creators, musicians, and producers were uh from their forced solicitation of sex workers and solicitation of sexual encounters with prostitutes, sex workers. Man, all this, all this for nuts. <laughs> yes, hey, like all this. Yeah, yeah. She's being accused of allegedly transporting pink cocaine so um hopefully this is false and none of this information is true and she's 100 percent innocent okay but um being in these court documents this ain't gonna be great uh so so they 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 i didn't even know they had it in pink now they got it in pink apparently um if, if this is true if this is true she's being accused okay uh i went to the comments folks is like now i see why jt got the cuff on yeah, uh, well, maybe, maybe, okay? Um, somebody else said, somebody else said in the comments, the ninja's so, the ninja's so whatchamacallit, he can't even do regular coat. It gotta be pink. <laughs> uh, somebody else said, she did say, I hold the brick for you, daddy. That's what she said. Um, somebody else said, yo, that pink ish is really the pure ish. I only seen that in Colombia. <laughs> hey, look, man, whatever. Um, wait, is that, is that, that's, is that true? I don't know. Uh, and somebody else said, um, Tuki is synthetic coke, not pure coke. Um, somebody says it's ecstasy and cocaine mixed called Tusi. Got nothing to do with purity. It's called Tusi. Man, I don't know. Ecstasy? Uh, what, what, yeah, well, I don't know. This stuff got me freaking. Let me go to the damn next story because, it, like, I'm over here stuttering. Like, this is this is crazy. Like, I don't need, like, uh, now, um, let me give you this. As of now, right? Uh, what we know concerning Diddy, right? Is that the hip hop moguls, LA, Miami, uh, New York home, they've been raided by Homeland Security, all right? Uh, they saying your boy is guilty of federal, you know what I'm saying, sex, red light, green light, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> you're like, what? Uh, trafficking, bro, all right? Uh, we saw his sons and daughters get put in cuffs, but uh, we did not see your boy get arrested which i found to be relatively interesting okay but I, I mean i guess that's that's how it goes down now uh word is that his sons um king and justin returned to the house to retrieve some of their stuff but now we're hearing that diddy's electronics have been seized in the raid now they don't grab the laptop they don't grab the computer you know what i'm saying they don't look they likely grab the phones coffee makers anything it don't matter keurig all that okay look 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 if 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 there are re video recordings of the antics, 
these would be some of the dumbest traffickers I've ever heard of. Yeah, you know I mean, like, why would there be? There should be no video recordings. But I guess, like, I guess there there had to be cameras all over the place. Pro look, the problem for Diddy is this: if they recorded, look, if they recorded battle rapper Sue Surf, right? If they recorded him when he was on the phone with his boys, talk about let's go to Popeyes, then they would have definitely already gathered evidence against Diddy. You, you follow what I'm saying? Because you know the you know the you know the FBI they like uh, the the feds or whatever you want to call you know they was listening. Listen, according to the research that I've done, right? <laughs> you like you don't do research, cut it out. Hey, look, man. Okay, you don't do research. All right, I gotta do this every day, man. This ain't this. This is difficult. Listen. Homeland Security, in other words, Homeland Security Investigation, HSI, the dudes that came through to the crib, right? They typically conduct raids when they have gathered sufficient evidence to support their investigation. Okay? Um, look, they would not conduct a raid solely for the purpose of collecting evidence because raids are resource intensive operations that involve planning, it involves coordination, and often it's a significant risk. And raids are usually conducted to execute search warrants, make arrests, and secure evidence that further strengthens the case that they have built based on their prior investigations. You follow what I'm saying? In other words, they come into the house to support what they already got on your boy. Hence, all that pacing back and forth we saw, okay? Mind you, they know the man's every moves, okay? They know his moves because think about it. While they were doing the, the while they were at the house doing the raid, they were also catching your boy at the airport. You follow what I'm saying, man? Now, um, it's also being stated because when they caught him at the airport, they caught his alleged mule. <laughs> You're like, what? Word, okay? His mule, as in a drug mule that was arrested on drug charges during the federal agent running, all right? Now, um, <laughs> you know, somebody, look, somebody's like, yo, man, this man had a mule. It's crazy out here, okay? Uh, now, for those, you know, the uninitiated, you got your kids listening to the joint. A mule is someone um, who is known to carry products like drugs internally or externally for someone else. So sometimes the mules will carry the drugs in their, in their stomachs and whatnot in the whole nine yards. All right. Um, so <laughs> you're like, wait, wait. So the diddler was drug dealing? I mean, the mule was carrying for him. And the mule was the one that was arrested next to Diddy. Okay. Now, um, look, I have no idea. Look, 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 I don't know if the man was drug dealing himself. I don't know how that whole situation goes. Okay. But I, I know that all I know is that Diddy likes to party. That's all I know. Okay. I know that Diddy likes to party. Okay. Um, here's the thing, man. I can't imagine drugs not being in the picture with everything that go like there's usually certain things that associate with other things with everything that your boy got going on i like like drugs is not like it's not lost on me that drugs would be involved okay um <laughs> you like what kind of drugs uh, apparently um according to rolling stones and uh a, cu a couple of other outlets uh they're saying that they caught the mule with cocaine and marijuana all right um and I guess if there was, uh, they, I mean, I don't know. I, I haven't heard of any pink cocaine or anything like that. Okay. Now, the arrest occurred around the same time as we stated that law enforcement raided Combs' homes. All right. Now, um, <laughs> the mule is his name is, I believe his name is Brendan Paul or something like that. I, I better get this right. Let me get this right. His name is Brendan. I believe it's Brendan Paul. Yeah, Brendan Paul. Okay. Uh, yeah, 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 Brendan Paul. Um, yeah, that's his name. And he used to play for Syracuse. He's a former Syracuse basketball player. And his position, guard. You know what I mean? As in guarding duty, uh, duty. guarding Diddy uh, from um, being arrested by carrying, right? Being the mule, okay? Um, <laughs> look, 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 look. Take a look at bro's highlights. Take a look.
you're like, I know you did not just play that man's basketball highlights. We did. We did. What? That man can't have highlights played? We're showing you the best of the mule. We could be showing you him at his worst. We're showing you him at his best. <laughs> look, 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 look. His family raised brother be a baller. You know what I'm saying? Not a shot caller, a baller. And he out here playing defense for the diddler. Now, uh, look, they done released footage of the aftermath of the raid of Puffy's crib. Um, and, and when I saw the video, I was like, man, this is wild, disrespectful, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, t t take a look at the footage of the raid. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They done, they done, um, so, so, you know, they, that's the footage of the raid, all right? Um, look, I saw in the comments, everybody was like, yo, man, are they always disrespectful when they raid at home? And all the responses were like, this raid was relatively nice. <laughs> that, to me, is insane. Watching it, I was like, oh, man, this does feel mad disrespectful. They just come in the house. Like, what if they don't find anything? They just come in there and wreck your house and leave? Like, who's gonna clean this? Who's gonna clean this damn house up? That's all I have to think about <laughs> Nowadays, you know what I'm saying? I told you I'll be watching them stories with the with the paranormal stuff and the people be having the spirits in the house and stuff like that. They keep flicking the lights on and off and stuff like that. I, I'm over here thinking like, man, who the hell gonna pay for this light bill, man? Y'all over here flicking the lights and messing with all my electronics and stuff like that, but y'all don't want to pay the bill? I be thinking about the wrong things I know. Listen, uh, yeah, 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 the raid was super disrespectful. It looks disrespectful, but I mean, it's a raid, man. What do you want? And again, when they're doing the raid, they're just doing to confirm all the stuff they already know and they already got. Apparently, uh, I heard that. I heard that when they did Trump's raid, it was just as bad. You know what I'm saying? They showed a video, and you saw. I, I think I saw the video of that joint, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh man, look at her. underwear on the floor and stuff like that. Ugh. Anyway, um, uh, but every time I see the raid footage, I'm like, why they? Why? Why am I seeing this? Why? How did it get to me? Like when it gets to you, you know it's bad. It, it's gotten to everybody's like, oh, they just want to see a black man go down. I don't know about all of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind seeing a bad person go down. I don't mind seeing a bad person go down because what we want in society and in the world and in the universe, we want justice. We want justice, bro. That's all we want is justice. If you've committed crimes, a, a lot of people just want to see justice, not against themselves. Against themselves, they want mercy. But against everybody else, they commit justice. If this man is guilty of these things, we want justice. And if he is not guilty, that means he is being falsely accused. We want to see justice against the false accusers. You're like, what, what about all the people that are spreading the misinformation? We're just giving the information, okay? Um, we're just giving the information out and we hope, we hope that all of this stuff is not true. But at this point, there's already wrong being done. Either somebody's being falsely accused or they're being justly accused, okay? There's no in between at this point, okay? Um, and, we, and we're just providing you with the report. Maybe you come out with the truth. Listen, uh, this this is this is all information that should make um, a lot of people's ears perk up. And and this is something that you can learn from. Okay, uh, I do not mind learning from watching other people's antics. And maybe maybe if this man is guilty, maybe this will stop other people that have record labels and have people under them, maybe this will, this will stop them from taking advantage of people that are in, you know what I'm saying? Like inferior positions, you know what I mean? Like if you are a leader of sorts, maybe something like this should make you say, pump the brakes on taking advantage of other people just because you were in a position of power, okay? Um, hey, look, 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 look. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess like, those that are the alleged victims of the alleged shenanigans <laughs> probably think, man, they went easy on the diddler. 
You, you, you see what I'm saying? Like, if you was one of the victims, wouldn't you be glad to see this? Uh, <laughs> and look, and look, as far as I know, bro is technically still free. He's still walking around freely. But at the same time, is he? You know what I mean? Like, is he free? If he's done these things, he ain't free. He, he hasn't been free for a long time. You know, it's weird when people commit crimes, sometimes they want to be stopped. But they can't stop themselves. Somebody's got to stop. And when somebody does stop them, they actually get a little bit happy because now the insanity gets to stop. Uh, now, um, the situation continues to get worse and worse. You're like, wait, don't you teach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I never I never said I taught grandma. Uh, yeah, it's gotten worse and worse. <laughs> don't say, don't use that word, kids. Listen, uh, it's gotten worse because the diddler has sold all of his shares of revolt tv to an anonymous buyer now according to the breakfast club right breakfast club is saying that they think it's the dude that um owns shea moisture or something like that uh is the buyer it wants to remain anonymous for now but it's stated that the buyer um uh, is, is, is black owned revolt is still black owned so there won't be any massive changes just yet okay now uh diddy's attorney lastly diddy's attorney has apparently showed up to work okay uh, uh finally hearing look we're finally hearing from diddy's camp and his attorney aaron dyer is playing hard d no diddy right and he stated the following um what do you say he said let me see if i can pull it up uh go like this he said yesterday yesterday there was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs's residence. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated. First of all, Mr. Lawyer, okay? When you say there's no excuse, I thought I heard he was blowing up people's cars and hanging Wale outside the window. I don't know if that's true about the Wale situation, but I heard that he was hanging people out the window and I heard he was blowing up people's cars in their driveway. That That's kind of a reason to be like, ah, we might have to show up with a gun or two. You know what I'm saying? My bad. Uh, and that was in the court documents. Um, Combs uh, was never detained, but spoke to and cooperated with authorities. Uh, remember that lady that said she got shot in the face? She was like, I saw who did it. Puffy shot me in the face and and the other dude took the fall for it. But I saw who shot me directly in the face. Um, uh, she said she was telling the doctors and everything. They was like, shh, shh, be quiet, be quiet. Just let us finish working. Uh, they, uh, the lawyer says, despite media speculation, neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been arrested, nor has their ability to travel been restricted in any way. This unprecedented ambush paired with an advanced coordinated media presence. That's true. Cause they knew, they knew they followed the people there. It's like the, 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 the HSI was like, they went to the news like, Hey, we about to go get it. Come on, come, come on. Let's go. Uh, leads to a premature rush to judgment of Mr. Combs and is nothing more than a witch hunt based on meritless accusations made in civil lawsuits. There has been no finding of criminal or civil liability with any of these allegations. Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue to fight every single day to clear his name. Close quote. This is a statement from Aaron Dyer, Diddy's attorney. Listen, uh, a witch hunt. Listen, why do I feel like they always use the last time I heard witch hunt? Wasn't it Trump that was using that word after the insurrection, after the insurrection, after the insurrection? He said it was a witch hunt. Um, and now we're hearing it again. Like, how can I say this? I would even be careful about the words that I would use. I wouldn't even mimic the words of other people that look like they've been guilty of things. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> look, I know all my Trump is about to show up for your boy Trump. I heard, look, I heard the election is going to definitely be Trump versus Biden. I said, oh, my gosh, how is this man? How did the man? <laughs> I mean, I mean, I, man, let me not go there. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, because I know look, all the, uh, you know, damn near a cult at this point. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for Celeb News.